Alrighty guys, welcome back to another chess lesson. And in this video, what I wanna do is I wanna talk to you guys about one of the traps that black has whenever you play the Italian game, and that is the Blackburn Shilling Gambit or the Blackburn Shilling Trap. It actually goes by both names, but I'll show you guys exactly how it works and what happens when you fall for the trap. And then at the end of the video, I'll show you guys how to defend against it if black tries this against you. So this Italian game is just gonna start out normal from both sides, white e4, black e5. Again, we talked about all these moves in the last video. White's gonna go ahead and make their normal Italian game move. Knight to f3 and black again, same old, same old, knight to c6 and white, nothing new. Bring the bishop out to c4. So again, this is just normal Italian game and now Black has a couple options. In the last video, we just saw a normal, uh, you know, development move, a normal game, so to speak. But Black, in this video, I'm going to show you one trap that they have, and that is knight to d4. So Black can move their knight to d4, and from White's point of view, if they're looking at this right now, they say, okay, the knight is coming in here attacking my knight and maybe they just thought we couldn't recapture it because it was protected by the pawn but if we notice we can actually just take this pawn right here i mean there's no piece defending it so let's go ahead and snatch that up right there well this is the trap and if you take this pawn then you're probably going to have a very bad time because after you take what black can actually do is bring their queen out to g5. So when their queen is on g5, it's now attacking your knight. So, okay, that didn't go exactly as we wanted. So let's look at our options. Okay, it appears that we can just capture this pawn. And I mean, a black king can't take us because it's defended by our bishop. Seems like a good idea. All right, snatch that baby up, and now not only can Black's king not take us, but we're also attacking the rook and the queen. I mean, this seems like a beautiful move. However, what Black is going to do is they're essentially just going to ignore what's going on on the top ranks, and they are going to swipe down and capture this pawn on g2. So come down, capture the pawn on g2, and in doing this, they're threatening to take the rook on h1 with check all right not the not the best definitely so what we probably want to do is okay so this knight is protected don't really have to worry about that for the time being we really want to protect our rook because that would not be good to lose at this point in the game so let's just slide this over to f1 and then if the queen tries to take it we can just go ahead and recapture the queen with our king okay beautiful however what black can do now is they can just take their queen and capture on e4 with check. So capture and checking the king. Okay, so now white is just in a world of trouble. They have to get the king out of there. Of course, they can't move it up or else it'll, well, you're just legally not allowed to move it up. So we need to block it somehow. We really don't want to block with the queen or else we're just going to end up losing a queen. The knight's going to capture it. So what we can do is just move our bishop over here and block just like that. All right, so hopefully knight takes bishop, queen takes knight, queen takes queen, and king takes queen. And okay, not the best situation, but you know, good enough, we can continue the game. However, <laughs> at this point in time, all black has to do is take their knight and move it over to f3, and that is checkmate. Again, the bishop can't slide out and attack the knight or else the king would be unprotected. And of course, this knight is attacking this king. So it's in check and again, checkmate. So moving back to when the trap was set, we saw that taking this pawn right here, it's, <laughs> it probably wasn't the best option. However, if we're still a little bit uh, skeptical and say, okay, I'm gonna get that pawn anyways, and maybe the mistake wasn't taking the pawn right here, maybe the mistake was moving our knight up here. So what if instead, whenever black moved their queen out to g5, instead of moving this knight out, I wonder what would have happened if I just took this pawn with a bishop. Again, the king still can't capture this, I mean the king is in check, 
and they can't recapture because it's protected by the knight. So it seems like it may be a better option. However, again, not the best choice. All the king has to do is move their king. Let's say they move it out to e7. And now, well, what is white going to do? Well, this is fine for the time being. It's protected. So let's just go ahead and do something like castle. Okay, so that does indeed protect against this tricky queen captures on g2 business since that pawn was still in danger however now the queen can just slide over and capture this knight and white is down material their bishop is in danger and look at this centralization by black they got two pieces very strong piece might i add in the center of the board the knight is there this pawn is you know going to be gobbled up <laughs> anytime now so that really didn't work either all right, so going back to whenever this trap was set, we saw that taking this pawn right here, it probably isn't the best option. So after they set this trap, how exactly do we defend against it? Well, what we can do instead of taking the pawn is we can actually just recapture this knight right here. So we take the knight, of course, what black's gonna do is it's gonna capture our knight on d4. And from here, just to get uh, you know kind of a solid setup, we can just go ahead and castle. And black is going to do something, you know, whatever move they make, let's just say they bump out to d6, trying to free up this bishop. The move order I probably suggest is taking this pawn, moving it up to c3, allowing the recapture on c3. And at this point in time, we can just develop with capture. So now we can see we have a much uh, stronger position. Even the engine thinks that we're strong. We have two minor pieces developed. I don't want to make those in red since, you know, it's a good thing. We got a pawn and we don't, you know, have a big material disadvantage like we did when we fell through the trap. So again, that is the Blackburn shilling gambit or the Blackburn shilling trap. So whenever you see that, again, take the knight with your knight. Do not take the pawn or else you're gonna have a pretty bad game. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.